Thanks for joining me for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're talking about upset and length control techniques, specifically torque modulation with dynamic profile modification. So recent episodes, we've been talking about upset control. We now want to apply this upset control technique to length control. So we need to do things a little bit differently because the incoming part lengths might vary. So I can control upset using pressure modulation or torque modulation, and I can get the same amount of upset from one weld to the next. But what happens when my incoming part lengths vary? Now I need a way to accommodate a way to get more upset or less upset in order to achieve a target length between the two parts. So we look at a standard inertia weld again, and we let this weld happen with no torque modulation, no pressure modulation, just a standard inertia weld, and we record a profile of upset versus time in order to use that to help generate an error signal in the future. But as I look at my incoming part lengths, if they're too long, I need to, enter, I need to create more upset. So now I need to adjust my upset profile mathematically in order to get more upset. And I may need to increase my target uh, weld energy or starting weld speed in order to create more energy to start with. Now if my incoming parts are too short, then I'm going to need less upset. So I might need to mathematically adjust my upset profile to get less upset and possibly even start my weld speed lower in order to have less energy to start the weld. Now when I do this, I can apply the same technique of torque modulation where I use my current weld compared to the upset profile to generate an error signal. And if I need less upset in this new profile, then I'm going to increase my weld torque. In doing so, the electric motor adds energy to the system and I get more upset. If I'm too high in upset between my current weld and my profile, then I want to apply some braking torque so that the electric spindle drive pulls energy out of the flywheel system and therefore decreases the amount of upset that I'm getting. So I make many adjustments over the course of time to a new mathematically adjusted profile so that I can take upset control and turn it into length control. Now this is again a very responsive system. It happens very quickly. We're mathematically adjusting the profile and the starting energy in order to get us very close and then we're using torque modulation to close the loop and achieve a new target upset. This technique can be used in inertia welding, it can be used in direct drive friction welding, or rotary hybrid friction welding, and is a very powerful length control technique. Thank you for joining me for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.